family can be a place of home and hearth and warmth and, and peace. But it can also be a place of family quarrels and tempers flaring fears. Hi, I'm Kenny Hendrick, and this episode is called RP8. What is your family on Empower Your Pattern 2.0? Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick. I am a success confidence uh, and pride coach, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I wish to give you a pattern to help you receive more, help you live a better and extraordinary life. Right now, so if you'll come with me, I will help you receive these patterns. Get ready. Let's get. Let's go. Okay, guys. I know this sounds kind of uh, hard to believe. We're, we're meeting outside of the pattern clubhouse. Because, well, quite frankly, we need to go more experimental hands-on. If you're ready for it. I'm actually doing these episodes out of order, and please, please forgive me. I want to get this done first because there's some things I want to get off my chest. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with my family. But granted, you know, there have been some dysfunctions. I grew up with a family ethos that says, you know, blood is thicker than water, no matter what. And for years, I really... um, I really held on to that belief. I mean, I really trusted that belief. It was something that I felt like I could hang in there. But to be honest with you, right now, I'm having some personal struggles um, in, in my family. Um, and my brother is coming into town for some personal reasons and everything and well there's some trepidation in the air and to be honest with you some some fear I'm not going to lie about it there's been, there's been some fear and It's something I struggle with for this past week almost on a daily basis. Blood is thicker than water. Is that true? Now, I gotta be honest with you, I stand by the meaning of the traditional family, the ideal family. But what I am also aware is that there are a lot of dysfunctional family systems. Okay? And so, when I left home in 1994, I was like, blood is thicker than water, yeah, right. (laughs) And I began slowly to try to find a definition of family. And then and of course, you know, some of the dysfunctional deals in, in the world that are defined as family. I wouldn't even define as family. And when I met and started dating and got engaged to and then married to 
my ex-wife, I thought, well, yay. I've got some semblance of a family. Yay, this is this is going good. This this could go. Oh. But when my marriage broke up. I was distraught. I was kind of like, who is my family? I was I was back with my family of this uh, uh, my family of origin. <laughs> I know part of me feels like right now saying family of disorigin. Needless to say, I love I love my birth family. Don't get me wrong, I love my birth family. But I needed a deeper deeper meaning. And I still struggle with this issue. Okay? Family is a tricky thing. But let's see what old Mr. Webster, the first Mr. Webster, Noah Webster, how, how he would define it. I mean, because... No, Webster is a founding father. Now, he may um, he may uh, define it the same way as everybody else, which is no problem. But let's see. More like one, one of them is a household. Uh, those who sin from one common progenitor, a tribe of race. Ah. Not having much luck podcasting this today. Because, and, and I think it's because the devil does not like me talking about family. Course of descent, genealogy, line of ancestors. It, it's good to have good to have honorable descent, noble or respectable stock. That's a good one. Order class to genius. Uh, okay, they have animals. Huh? But now I want to go into kind of a definition of family that I came to, to know and, and, and love. It's a family of like minded, uh, like minded people. I mean, they share your beliefs and, and your values. Okay? On July... Um, I, I, I'm recording this on July 6th. Please forgive me because i got to get this. But it'll be released on July 8th. The 22nd anniversary of my baptism into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And one of the things that helps me, and I, I'm, I'm probably going to, I know not everybody that listens to Empower Your Pattern 2.0, or is a member of Pattern Realm, is a member of the Restored Church of Christ. But we have what's known as a patriarchal blessing. And that gives us our spiritual descent. And there have been times, because of some things going on in my life, when I've had to look that up and and to see what that means.
But being part of the household of faith is the beginning of, of, of the meaning of family for me. That doesn't mean that I don't love my family of origin. And it's hard for me to say it. Sometimes there's just dysfunction. And it's it's hard. I'm facing that in some ways right now. Uh, bipolar has been kind of off the charts. And I've had to remind myself once again. What is the meaning of, of family? What's the meaning of it all? And you might say, but, but Jimmy, don't you love your mother and your brother and your sister? In many ways, of course I do. It's hard for me to really go through it, you know. Uh, I don't want to go through the specifics of the dysfunction. Except that it all comes from the same tree it started uh, from the dawn of time. I'm not, I'm not saying original sin. What I'm saying is the enemy of our soul has been the one that wants to chop down the meaning of family and leave people such as myself who are single, uh, no marriage prospects, and, and no kids in their future. Questioning what a family is. There's sometimes I've gotten mad at Heavenly Father and said, Hey, how come? How come I can't have a family of my own? And he would have to remind me, Hey, Jimmy. You already have that. And so this week, with all that's going on, nothing against my birth family. I want you to know that. But I have found more solidarity with people from my church and like minded people. Talking about family sometimes is, is not always easy for me. Especially when I was going through the topsy turvies events of 2021 and 2022, when the majority of my family had moved away. And I was like, I'm going crazy. I can't believe this. It's, it, it's, it's like, OMG, I gotta find a new meaning of family. And then, of course, the reassignment of congregations. I was like, well, what the heck? What, what the heck now? Things. Things have been crazy. But sometimes, in, in our basic units, in our families, if you are fortunate to have a wife and kids of your own, and a nuclear family with, with a stable system, and you guys love each other, you know what, God bless you. I'm grateful. But sometimes, however, we have to find, with, with some people, such as myself, we have to find a new sense of family. And you may say, well, well, Jimmy, how'd you come up with that? During COVID, I um, started coming back to counseling more regularly. And I was struggling with some dysfunctional systems going on in my life. And, you know, and my, my um, counselor said, he said, you know, Jimmy, 
I think in your case, it may be best best bet to just redefine family. And so, I'll tell you something. You pattern, and you retool, and you retool. And that's what I see, it seems like it's been like for me for the past almost three and a half years since COVID hit. Because I'll be honest with you, it is crazy. We all have our own struggles. You know that. And I know that. Sometimes I, I don't like talking about things that I'm struggling with on a personal nature. And, you know, sometimes podcasting is therapeutic. <laughs> but in this instance, I'm having to hold back a lot of what's going on with me because... But suffice it to say, if some of you in Pattern Realm have had some dysfunctional systems, and maybe you're stressed right now, can I tell you something? I hear you. I hear you. Stress is too much, you know... <laughs> Can, can be too much to handle. And so, I, I want you guys to indulge me here. And, and let me talk to you for the, about the next 39 minutes. About family. This isn't easy. Because I, I love the definition of a husband and wife. Who have married for life, or like in, in my in my faith, for time and alternity, and children. I love that definition. It, it's ideal. It works. But sadly, sometimes because of mortal mortality, we can't have the ideal. And it's hard. You struggle with that. I struggle with that. It's crazy. But I don't think we should have to be afraid. Because I'm going to tell you something. Blood may be thicker than water. But spirit is thicker than both. I'm just telling you what's on my mind. Sometimes we don't know, although oftentimes we don't get to pick sometimes the, the outcome. In life that we want. But if you go forward. You can begin to create the life you want. And lots of times. Well I'll just be honest with you. <sighs> Dealing with a lot of. Um. The definition of family, at least this is what I believed when, when I was married, that it shouldn't be open for interpretation. Now, I don't think a definition of family necessarily should be based on per perversion or, or physical attraction and all that stuff. That's along the same lines as, as blood is thicker than water, uh, bull crap. Okay?
Because spirit is thicker than both. Spirit is thicker than both. It's hard. When, when I'm speaking about the personal and personal development. But it's a good thing that I'm mentioning this and bringing up this particular episode while it's fresh on my mind. I think one thing that I am considering is a um, SWOT analysis on how to deal with, with my family. Because sometimes sometimes we need the extra tools to cope with a lot of crap that goes along the line in this earth. And I blame our reactive culture that we have on social media and the news media, media in general. Be afraid, be angry. And I think our system on this earth, the earth curse system, just want, just wants to egg it on. And this murky question of what is family. To be honest with you, it's, for me it's twofold. I found it in the twofold. The first one is, spir- is spiritual, the heart set. I'm in a covenant relationship with Jesus Christ through the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But I'll be honest with you, um, teaching this stuff is not easy. Because I, I, a part of me still believes in the ideal family. If more families could get along and, and go by the systems of God's laws, we'd be all right. But because of how this culture has become more and more, some families just don't get along. And it's sad. When I was a kid back in the 80s, I'm not saying everything was perfect. I I had a deep sibling rivalry with my with my brother, and but at the same time, you know, I almost felt like I said, "Like, stop complaining. It's no big deal." And you fast forward, okay? I'm 17 years old now. I'm I'm 53. Okay, we're talking about 36 years later. And I tell myself, you know, some of the little little petty things that I used to uh, say and think about my brother have been replaced with something else. And I'm not going to talk about that. What what I really need to talk about more, family. And you have to figure out what family is to, to you. Okay, you can look at all these dictionaries. You can look at all these dictionaries. Of course, as you know... Some of it is through ancestry, father and son, um, you know, um, mother, um, husband and wife, mother, father, children. Um, uh, 
it's so many definitions um, of family. And it's a struggle. Family, family dynamics can be a struggle. But one thing for me is not a struggle. I mean, yeah, there is a struggle, you know, like how do I fit in totally? But then again, I can celebrate my uniqueness of being a single uh, in the restored church of Christ in, in this, this one thing. I'm grafted into that family. I wasn't I wasn't born and raised in the covenant. But but I'm grafted in. That's the beautiful thing. When my marriage broke up, I felt like I had no place to go. Um my unit of my three closest friends uh, Brad and Jim Bob, I don't know. They had their own ideas, but they didn't seem to have a clue. But my buddy Keith, it's like he instinctively knew what to do. And I, I really want to, for the next about 29 uh, or so minutes, settle the dust here. If you're like me, Maybe you've never married. Or you were married and now you're divorced. You know, like me. I was I was married briefly. Or you're widowed. And you don't have any children. And you're looking for a sense of family. I'm going to tell you something. In many ways, I have found it. I'm going to bear my testimony to you guys if you don't mind. I know I talk a lot about entrepreneurship and motivation and drive and everything, and, and we will at some point get back to that. But I think for a little while, we need to dwell a little bit in, in, in my family situation. July 8th of 2001, I entered the covenant waters of baptism. And let me tell you something. I felt a cleanliness coming out of that water, coming out of the water, a rush, a cool rush from the Holy Ghost that said, Jimmy, you are home. This is your home. And I began the road to eternal uh, progression. Yes, I may have I may have faltered a few times. I've gone uh, I've gone inactive at one particular time. There were some times that I sadly went through the motions because I began the question. But one thing keeps getting bringing me back. The belonging. The covenant relationship. The things that I learned. The things that strengthened me. There's times, though, I think, when our peace is uprooted. And I gotta say, in these last days, it's, it's becoming more, it's becoming more, more, uh, common. And, most recently, I've had to, you know, because of some things going on in my personal life, I've had to tell him, my father, that I am, um, I am frightened. And he'll have said, let me know, Jimmy, come on. It's going to be all right. <laughs> the, the battle belongs to me, you know, whether, whatever, whatever happens, you know, no matter what, it's going to, it's going to be okay. <sighs> I 
sometimes <laughs> the Ishi family is going to come up, no matter what. I know that. And it hasn't come back and up and empowered your pattern in quite a while. But it has come up. And it's something um, the 30th of last month I started developing the, the re-pattern series. And ironically around this time uh, when I'm struggling with some personal issues, the topic of family comes up. Now, there's one um, episode RP9. I'm going to wait and do that on Sunday, on the Sabbath, because I think it's important. So, here's the thing. Okay? And I want you to listen. We can sit there and define family all day long. And ask, what is family? In fact, I'm going to go to my gospel library app. Of course, a lot of it is, is on family history, eternal families and family protection, and, and family traditions. Um, But I've had to find out for myself that my church, in many ways, is in some ways more more my family. With some things that's been going on this week, I've had to lean on them a lot more, and 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 being and, and being in strength. Because without that, I don't know what I would do. Let's look at God through the scriptures, uh, family. A family consists of a husband and wife, children and and sometimes other relatives living in the same house under one family. A family can also be a single parent with children, a husband, wife, without children, or even a single person living alone. But if I'm grafted into covenant uh, Israel. I'm blessed. One thing I like, it says in Psalm 68, verse 6, it says, He set up the lonely in families. And I am grateful to be a member of my faith. It means a lot to me. In fact, one thing I'm thinking about doing once this is over is do some audio reading in the Book of Mormon. Um, really just get some comfort. 
I'm, I'm not going to lie. The, the past several decades have been nothing but confusion for good godly people who want a good godly family. And I'm grateful to be a member of the church that believes in that. And with Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ and being a part of my congregation family and being a part of where God wants me to be. I know that no matter what, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. But I gotta stand strong. And know. That God has my best interest at in heart. But I want you to know something. If you're struggling with some destructive, some uh, dysfunctional systems in your family, I'm backing you up as your success, confidence, and thrive coach. You might say, "Well, how's that affect? How's family affected? Those those three things very much. If if you're Maybe struggling with some dysfunction going on. I think so, for me at least, you, you need confidence. Yeah, I'm gonna talk for about the last about eighteen minutes about about this thing. You know, you need you need confidence. You need to build success, so the dysfunction does not define you, and so you can thrive and be happy. You understand what I mean? <sighs> but what I've had to do, really, is put my trust in the Lord. Put my trust in in in, in Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my older brother. I believe that with all my heart. I know he has my back no matter what. Sometimes I think we, we turn to, to human beings. We're all frail beings, you know. We, we got our own little... <sighs> but tonight, before I got on the air, I had to go to him like father. And express to him what, I'm, what I've been going through. And I do not know where I'd be without him. I'll be honest with you. I do not know where I'd be without him. I would love to have an ideal marriage and family. But the thing is, the, the good news is this. In the next life, I will have that opportunity. It's tough. <laughs> but sometimes we have to find... <laughs> A definition of family that in some ways fits our situation. I'm not saying distort the traditional meaning. But what I am saying is this. Is if
if you're alone and you're stressed and you're trying to find a meaning of family, I want you to consider meeting with the missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to find some covenant belonging. Because that's what helped me. Once I knew Mike's wife was not coming back to me, I was like, okay. <laughs> re pattern Redefine terms. Once I knew that a lot of these changes were coming into effect back in 2021 and 2022, read pattern that that's the way it was. And you know what I'm talking about. So listen to me. We don't need to be fearful. We can... Now, if Heavenly Father is giving you a traditional nuclear family and everybody loves each other and they're very close, then God bless you. I'm happy for you. But if you're like me and you're struggling and you're trying to find a definition, I argue... Give the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints a try. We can bless your lives. When I went through my divorce, it took something out of me. It really did. And so, you know, the thing is this. When you're having pain and you don't know you don't know where else to go then what you've got to do I implore you to trust in the Lord and find some belonging if, if you're in my situation and you found a church to belong to and it really blesses your life and makes you happy, great. But if you were searching like I was over 22 years ago, I urge you, go to comeunterchrist.org and, 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 and find strength. Find meaning to your pain. Read the Book of Mormon. That's how I found the meaning to mine. You know, now, I like to hear some people that always say, well, y'all yeah, probably think that they were replacing the Bible. No, it, uh, it doesn't. If it did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even belong to something like that. It just helps explain some truths that have been withheld over the centuries. And you know something? It's also a comfort. Guys, listen to me. We, we only got 11 minutes left to, to, to talk to you. What is family? In some ways, you have to decide for yourself. Maybe you think, well, I'm okay being just a family of one. Yeah, maybe you're a hermit or whatever. Someone like me who's a social butterfly, I need to belong to something to go to myself. That's as far as I'm concerned. I need to belong to something to go to myself. So, I want you to try to understand that. Things are tough. 
if it wasn't for my trust in the Lord and the covenant belonging I have right now, I don't know what I did. But I went to hear my father about some of the issues going on in my life and voiced some of my concerns. <laughs> and one thing he always tells me sometimes when things get too hot and heavy, he's like, Jimmy, run, run to the church. R run to the protectiveness of the church. Because you're going to find it there. You're going to find it. I don't know. But one thing I do know. Is I stand on my meeting. Of the family. Yes. A, a, a traditional nuclear family is the idea of the definition that I do have. But I also think that a deeper definition is, more importantly, a covenant relationship with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and the covenant family that they, they've established. And also another definition of family is a group of like-minded people to have the same mindset. And I hope I hope they help you. I really do. <sighs> See, there you go. Uh, that's that's a lot to go through. I mean, <sighs> I really got a lot off my chest in in, in forty seven minutes, and really. I wish we all could have this ideal family on earth. But sometimes in mortality we get we get tested. We get tried. We get proved. And it's not easy. I know that. And you know that. But hey. Let me tell you something. I stand with you, Pattern Realm. I stand with you. If you subscribe in any ways you belong to the family in Pattern Realm, none of, n nobody needs to be left out. Nobody needs to feel left out. There are some times when I have a hard time wanting to podcast, but I realize that my audience needs me. And the definition of the definition of family, I'll be honest with you. The past over three decades, that's been something that's always constantly been in question, no thanks to our culture. But we should do something about it, okay? Listen to me. Sometimes we have to redefine some terms in our life when change is coming. And say that change is, 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 is scary. Or maybe even sometimes when there's some good news. Some good news, some good stress. You never know. But listen to me. We all need to have that trust in God. We all need to have that strength in Him. I'm a person right now that firmly believes in, in covenant belonging. I testify that I know the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. I know that Jesus is the Christ. The Bible and the Book of Mormon together are the Word of God. And that we have a lot of living prophet, even Russell M. Nelson. But we have to stay strong. We really do. 
Let me tell you something. I want you, if you're scared, say you're, you're striving to be successful and everything, but you got all this external personal stuff going on, and maybe it got you fearful, I want you to do your best to rest in the arms of God. He loves you. It's been hard in some cases, me doing this, this podcast. I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk about family first, but I was going to wait and save it for my uh, baptismal anniversary, but I had to get this off my chest. We all, we all have our struggles in mortality, and like I've said, if you've had traditional nuclear family where everybody loves each other and stands together with each other. Praise God. I'm grateful that you've had that. But if you haven't, say maybe you've had a sibling you couldn't get along with and, you know, through no fault of your own or anything, but the thing you need to understand is this. You need to stay strong in the Lord. You need to stay strong that, that He helps people who feel estranged from the idea of family to find family wherein they can belong. You know what I mean? I'm grounded in that belief. I say I stay strong in that belief. It's It's hard sometimes when family situations force you to repattern. But you know what? Let me tell you something. This is where you might need a little bit more determination. You might need a little bit more discipline in order to deal with it, to overcome it. Now, no personal matters such as family. It's it's hard for me to coach somebody uh, into because that's that's a blurred line as far as I'm concerned between coaching and that mental health. I don't have the expertise to help somebody with that, but more along the lines of career and getting out of job thinking to a dream mindset. Yeah, I can help you with. But your personal stuff, I don't know. <laughs> I can get, basically give you some basic coaching based on what I believe. But that's as far as I can go. But listen to me, no matter what. No matter what's going on. You don't walk alone. If you're a member of Pattern Realm, you don't walk alone. I want you to know that. We stay in solidarity together. That's what we got to do. <sighs> Getting in that strength. Guys, like I said, this has been a tough episode for me. Some pretty tough, pretty tough stuff coming down the pike for me. But I'm confident with God's help, I can overcome it. And if you're having issues 
But in the sound of my voice, you can overcome it too. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of Pattern Realm. This is Jimi Hendrix saying, until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can. Please share this with Mama-san, Papa-san, and everyone. This is Jimi Hendrix saying, choose, act, and pursue happiness. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really love you.